Hello and welcome back to Digital Electronic Circuits Lab. This is part 2 of Arduino PWM video series. In the previous video, I have discussed about the various PWM modes of Arduino with 80 Mega 328P microcontroller. In the fast PWM mode and phase correct PWM modes, we have got fixed output of 490Hz frequency with a variable duty cycle controlled by a potentiometer. On the other hand, in CTC mode, the frequency can be adjusted to higher values than that of fast PWM mode and phase correct PWM mode, but the duty cycle cannot be varied. Although it is possible to set desired frequency in fast PWM and phase correct PWM modes, but to do so, one should have a good knowledge of the registers of 80 mega 328p microcontroller in today's video i will be showing a simple and easy way to set any frequency to outputs of timer 1 and timer 2 also we can vary the duty cycle according to our requirement for this i will be using the pwm master library link to the library is in the description now let's see in practice how we can use this library using a simple code to control the brightness of an LED from a potentiometer connected to one of the analog inputs. In order to use this library, we have to include pwm.h header file to our sketch. For this demonstration, I will be using digital pin 9 as the output of the PWM signal and A0 as the input or potentiometer. Then we have to define a variable to set the desired frequency. Initialize timer safe function initializes all timers except for timer 0 to save timekeeping functions. Timekeeping functions includes delay, delay microseconds, millis, etc. The set pin frequency safe function sets the specified frequency to the selected pin. The PWM write function writes the duty cycle of PWM signal to the output pin. For this demonstration, I will be using frequency of 25 kHz. The PWM write function writes the duty cycle of PWM signal to the output pin. By turning the knob of potentiometer, I can change the duty cycle of PWM signal, thus changing the brightness of LED. Now let's upload the sketch to our Arduino and see how it behaves. So as we can see, in the oscilloscope we are getting exactly 25 kilohertz frequency and just by turning the knob or potentiometer I can change the duty cycle. Also, by rotating the potentiometer, I can change the duty cycle and brightness of the LED. In the entire process, the frequency of the output signal remains constant. If I wish to change the frequency, then I have to go to the code and change the frequency that we have defined in the initialize section. If I change it to 50 kilohertz, then the frequency of the output will also change to 50 kilohertz. And by doing so, you can still change the duty cycle of the frequency. That's all for this video. In the next part of this video series, I will be discussing how to create sinusoidal pulse with modulation signal from Arduino.
Stay tuned for the upcoming videos on my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any video. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and feel free to give your valuable suggestions in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.